And we got four-way tag team action up next. Our wonderfully deep tag team division fully on display in this match. And what is this, Smith Garrett? I can't tell these two guys apart. Don't this, worry, they're both. Well, he just did something really dumb and slapped Aaron Biggs in the face. Oh, and he, the same thing happened to him that happened to me when I slapped him in the face. You know, as much as I hate Charlie Weston and Smith Garrett, I've got to say they, they are some fine athletes. Oh, my God. Damn, what a power slam. And, yeah, they are fine athletes, and I know it's a sore subject. One of the biggest upsets of the year, they pinned you and Evan Banks. Well, more specifically, they pinned me. Yeah. They pinned me. But don't, don't worry. I can take that. Oh, oh God. God, he just crushed Donnie. Aaron Biggs is wrecking shop in the middle of this ring. He just took down a 275-pound Donnie Dollars like it was nothing. And he got another big man in Mark James. Donnie's a little bit bigger than Mark James, so if he can knock down Donnie like that, I know he can knock down Mark James like that. But Mark James is one of the toughest guys in our locker room. Yes, he is. He uh, says what he means and means what he says. He is definitely not afraid to tell everybody what he thinks. And you see right there, Aaron Biggs does have the power advantage, but you're seeing the experience advantage right now. Listen to shots. And you know you got to be a tough man to rock back Aaron Biggs like that. Oh! They both did it. Here comes oh. Omar James kick to the face. And I think that is the hardest Aaron Biggs has ever been hit. He could be out on his feet. Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. And much like with Mecha Mercenary earlier, you're seeing the right move. A double team on the bigger man. Double Shote palm thrust. Aaron out of the ring and hits hard on the floor. And we should mention this is scramble rules. So if one man leaves the ring, another man can legally enter. That is true. That is true. Cinco de Mayo rules. Yeah. Yes, Cinco de Mayo, as Ron McBride would say. And we're, I think this is one, of, maybe the first time that Chris Lee and Donnie Dollars have ever locked horns. Chris Lee is not afraid to mix it up, though, with Donnie Dollars. He does not care that Donnie Dollars has been in this for 10-plus years. And we've seen him mix it up with Lewis Moore and uh, Matt Houston before. He, he'll get in there and get dirty when he has to. The thing about oh. Chris is, is that everyone knows that Chris is a rookie except for Chris Lee. Yeah, I mean, you can't, it's one of those things about wrestling. You have to go in there and believe that you're better than you really are. Even if you suck, you got to believe you're the best. Otherwise, you're not going to make it anywhere. Jason Miller just threw Chris back into the ring. And you see Nick Richards and Jason Miller are not even making an, making an attempt to get on the ring apron or get involved in this match. Well, it seems like Smith and West are doing just about the same thing other than that beginning thing that they did. They're not getting there either. Well, at least they made their way to the apron. And now we see Jason Miller in the ring. Jason Miller taking advantage. And, of course, it could be because they want no part of Donnie Dollars or Mark James. That's true. I can't blame them, though. Would you? No, I mean, Especially you getting them all mad like they did. Uh, the, Mark James has rarely been seen since Jason Miller dumped him on his head out here on the floor. If I recall, this may be his first his first appearance back. Actually, I think you're right. He took that DDT on the floor and was gone for months on end with a severe concussion. And Dying Dollars, Nick Richards, we don't even need to talk about what they've been through. Everybody's seen it. I think that's one of those rivalries that it ain't ever going to end. Not until one of them's out of this business. Oh! Especially since Nick Richards does everything he can to make sure he is not ever in a fair fight with Donnie Dollars. That's exactly right. Man! And Aaron Biggs, yeah, I think he is a little out of it right now. And Charlie Weston. That is Charlie Weston, right? That is Charlie Weston, like, being thrown to the wolves. Donnie Dollars didn't even give him a chance to get in the ring. And these two have hooked up a couple of times before. Donnie has a couple of singles victories over Charlie Weston. A great fire by Weston. But not a good finish there from Charlie Weston. Overhead slam. Oh, my God. Oh, almost, God. Almost a 360 rotation. Watch out behind. Nick Richards in there with Donnie. Oh, but he don't want that part of him. He's getting right back out of the ring. And one thing I'll say about Smith and Weston, and we see uh, Smith Garrett getting in the ring. Garrett went for the big breaker. Too much size. But you know what? He has, I would say, the best physique in CWF Mid-Atlantic right now. Great conditioned athlete. Yeah, but physique doesn't mean anything when you get in the ring. No, as we're seeing. 
Oh, wait. I don't know what happened there. I don't know there. what I thought, was that. I guess Red uh, restarted his count. I don't know. Red Jones is terrible. Yeah, okay, well, that answers the question. He got the shoulder up, started over. Red can't count. That's good. That's good refereeing. I guess. Good refereeing. Some people may not understand it, but referee Red Jones did make the right call. Bring Carly in the hard way. Hard way. <laughs> Chris Lee went for the tag. I don't know if he got it. Bob oh. Buster just drilled him into the map. Chris Lee tried, almost made the save, but didn't need to. Weston got out. Believe, unbelievably. That spine buster once made me poop myself legitimately. Did it? Yes. That doesn't surprise me as hard as I just saw him drive Charlie into the mat. You know, I think I'm going to – I don't think I've washed those tights. I'm going to wear them next time I wrestle Mark James. Well, that's not sanitary at all, Cecil. Well, I haven't worn them since. Yeah, that's not sanitary at all. Cause that, how long has it been sitting there? Oh, uh, six, eight months. Yeah, that's not sanitary. Yeah, I might want to burn those. That's possible. Now, we got two – Rising genera Generation League stars in there. Of course, Chris Lee is the champion. Champion, one of the most popular figures in the North Carolina Piedmont Triad area. That is true. That is true. And, of course, as everyone knows, an annual at Battle K, the RGL title, will be defended in the finals of the tournament. We'll have to see if Chris Lee can make it all the way to the finals like he did last year. That's right. And last year was one of the very few times that the sitting champion made it all the way to the finals when it was Ben Tyler. Yep, Ben Tyler actually retained it. Yeah, the first man to ever retain it. So we'll see if Chris Lee can do it for the two years in a row. Champion going in and retaining. Oh, soul, soul food. food. And that's the thing about the RGL title. You are not guaranteed to keep it past Battlecade. Nope. Oh, not the airplane spin. No, I could tell you some things about Chris Lee and the airplane spin. I believe that you uh, were on the other end of that last weekend, weren't you, Cecil? Yeah, at, a, at a, an event up in Eden, North Carolina. Yeah. I was dizzy for hours. That does not surprise me. It looks like Charlie Weston is going to be the same because Chris Lee is not stopping. No, I found that out the hard way. And <laughs> they are both dizzy right now. It's just <laughs> Charlie Weston has no idea where he's at. No, he does not. I don't think Chris Lee does either. And Richards made the tag, and Chris Lee still did his cutter out of nowhere. Oh, and Aaron Biggs made the save. Very smart. That would have been it. Combination of dizziness, equilibrium messed up, plus eating that cutter, and a back rake. Yeah. <laughs> that was a little weird, Cecil. <laughs> you, you like them back rakes, don't I you? do like the back rake. Okay. Never float your boat, man. That's an effective move. Nick Charlie, Richards is totally totally getting back in. I don't see how he's still not dizzy. More back raking. He sh I was a lot more dizzy than he is. That's true. Chris Lee still looks like he's a little bit dizzy. That's the thing. When you get someone an airplane Ooh. spin in a tag team match, you can't, especially, you can't do that. Especially a four-way tag. Big. Somebody could come from any direction. With Cinco de Mayo rules. And I think Chris Lee is starting to regret that airplane spin. It's uh, just led to his downfall. Nick in there with Chris Lee, and Nick is relentless when he's on the advantage. When he's not, eh, he's a little bit of a coward, not yeah, going to lie. He's a little apathetic at times. He's a piss ant. Let's just go ahead oh, and say it. I don't know if we can say that, actually. No, I can say it. He's a piss ant. Hey, Grant's not going to find out. And we just got a little bit of jaw jacking here. Let's we'll see what's going to happen here. Shoving battle going on. Richards and Miller don't like the rookies, I don't think. And, oh, a four-way noggin knocker. You don't see that very often, but when you do, it is spectacular. It, that is a word for it. Spectacular. Spectacular, kind of like that back break. And now it just seems like we're in an all-out brawl with Mar James and Aaron Biggs still in the ring. Slugging it out like two grown men. Whoa! Aaron. Now, if that had been the Rumble Cecil, Aaron would have been eliminated it, right I there. I was just about to say it. That goes to show you anybody can go over that top rope. Yep, at any time. Even the biggest of the big men. Of course, he's going to be a tough guy. You know, that that moment notwithstanding, he's going to be tough to get out of that Rumble match should he be in, in the match. Unless Mark James is in there with him, and then obviously, as we just saw. Right, yeah. It's all about momentum and leverage. It is. And Nick Richards and Jason Miller double teaming Donnie on the what floor. What the hell is what Mark is, James doing? What is Mark James doing? Mark James oh, knocking God. off the top 
broke. A 260 pound dive for Mark James. He just took everyone out. Well, almost everyone. Chris Lee is still in the in the ring, and I see Charlie. I see Charlie Weston lurking around there. Yeah, Charlie may have avoided the brunt of that. Chris thinks he's the only one in there. It looks like Chris is going to go for a dive. He better watch out, though. Charlie Weston will, as we see, is not afraid to sneak up on somebody. Oh, 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 he's got him out. Schoolboy. I think he, he got the pin. I think he hooked the tights. I couldn't tell from my vantage point, but regardless, that is the second big win for this Smith and Garrett, ta Garrett tag team.